All right, this is going to be my weekly makeup basket and my hair is drying. I just washed it and so I'm just letting it air dry. So I just kind of pulled it off to the side so it wasn't too distracting. Anyway, if you've never seen one of these videos before, pretty much all I do is I go through my makeup collection, I pick out some items that I want to wear for this coming week, and I'm just going to go through and show them to you how I would apply them to my face in that same order. So first off, I have two eye bases that I'm going to be using this week. This first one, this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, and this one is in Moonlight. It is actually the first swatch on my hand. So I can either run these all over the lid, I can put them in the crease and kind of blend them out, I can put them in the waterline, you know, I can even put a little on my ring finger and then dab it over my dry eyeshadows that I put down too. So there's a couple different ways that I can wear these and I really like them. And then the other one is the caviar stick in copper. And it is that second swatch on my hand. I'm not much of a fan for kind of gold, like orange gold shades on my eyes, but this in the waterline is really beautiful. I really do enjoy that for that look. So I'm going to be playing around with this one. And then for my eyeshadow palettes this week, I have the Lorac Pro, obviously, because I'm trying to pan that this year. And then I'm just going to be dabbling into the second Lorac Pro for, you know, some other looks. I think um, today I used the shade right here, which is Plum. I used a little bit of that in my crease. I also wanted to pull out this MAC Single Eyeshadow. This is in Barefoot, and this is a Velux Pearl. So that is Barefoot right there. I really like how the shade is almost kind of like a green color. So I thought it would look kind of nice as an all over the lid shade. So I'm just going to be playing with this one a little bit. I do have a couple eyeliners here. One of them is a green eyeliner to go with this barefoot shadow right here. So this is the Jordana Metal Rocks Metallic Retractable Eyeliner. This one is in Green Envy. I'm going to give you a little swatch of this. It's not very metallic, but that is it right there. I just think this will look nice either in the waterline or up along the upper lash line. And then I also have the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner and there's just a little bit of this one left so I thought that I would finish this one off this week. I also have another one. I had to use this one today because I had an eyeliner explode on my eyes. It was the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen before, but it was a pen eyeliner and it just had too much ink coming out of the tip. And so I had to run this over my eyeliner to kind of crisp the edge of it. So anyway, this is the Vasanti Kajal Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. This is really pretty. I put this in my waterline today too. So that is the Vasanti Rose Gold right down here. If you saw my unboxing or my first impressions, whatever you want to call it, of the YSL mascara, I got this from Influencer and it was in the YSL Vox box. I'm kind of intrigued by this mascara to tell you the truth. I've never had a scented mascara before and this formula is so crazy. So I thought I would play around with this mascara this week. This is the Volume Effet Faux Sils Mascara from YSL. I'm not just using this one. I'm also still using my one that's in my project pan So I'm probably just going to switch off between these two I don't like this one for the bottom lash line So obviously my benefit roller lash would definitely be on the bottom lash line I'm going to try and mix these two and see if it works. So that is the benefit roller lash wand It kind of has a little bend to it. I'm having a few issues with my Eyebrows and I don't know what the deal is. I trimmed them this past week. I thought that would help out a little bit. It didn't really seem to change much, so I don't know. I have a little bit left of this Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil in Deep Brown, so I'm just going to use this one for this week and see if I can finish it off. And then over the top of that, I have the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. This is, I bet there's probably only a month's worth in this I've, I've used the majority of this. I really enjoyed playing with the Estee Lauder Double Wear last week, and uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off with that one until it gets a little bit warmer, 
but I thought I would pull out these two. So I have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Nude. This is just a little bit too dark for me. And then this one, this is the Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Extreme Radiant Lifting Makeup. And this one is in 1C1, and this one's also called Nude. So this is about the exact shade of my skin. I have mixed these two together before, and it was a really nice combination. So I'm going to try that out. I just have a little bit left in this... Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I, I just can't wear it on its own or else it would go by a lot quicker. I have two concealers. One of them is just for brightening. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighter Pen and this one's in Radiant. So this is the packaging on this one. It's one of the clicky pen highlighters and I usually just put this underneath the eye area in this section here and then you know down the center of the face a little bit sometimes if I have any blemishes or issues on my face that are that would peek through a foundation um, I have this MAC Studio Finish Concealer and this is in NW15 it's just a potted concealer but it's pretty thick and I can actually put this down underneath foundation and it doesn't really budge so this is a really nice full coverage concealer these next two items, I'm probably going to have to repress them tonight. I'll probably post a link on my Instagram in case you wanted to see what they look like after they're repressed. But my face powder is the Physician's Formula Multicolored Pressed Powder in Buff, which is the one with all of the, you know, blocks in here that are different colors. And you sw swirl your brush in here and then it makes a really nice sheer powder. And then my bronzer is just the Laguna bronzer. I really do need to repress this because it is so hard to get it from just around the edges. I have my blush that I'm going to be using this week is the NARS Deep Throat Blush. I wanted to pull out something that was kind of springy. Definitely something that I haven't played with in a little while. So this is Deep Throat right there in the pan. And then there is a swatch of it on my hand right there. It's a really pretty blush. I really love wearing this in the springtime. It's gorgeous and it's pretty matte. It seems like there might be some micro shimmer in the powder, but it really doesn't translate on the cheeks at all. I have been waiting to go back to this highlighter here. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. And that's what the packaging looks like there. There is the powder on the inside. This stuff is gorgeous. I love it. It is beautiful. Pretty much everything that I've been talking about I do have on my face today. So there is a swatch of the Laura Mercier Radiance Powder in Highlight. This stuff is gorgeous. I'm so happy to go back to this. I would probably have to say this is in my top two of my favorite highlighters in my collection. For my lips this week I wanted to do something a little bit different so I pulled out the NYX lip liner. This one is in Dolly Pink and these are really cheap at Ulta. I think they're like three dollars or something but it's a really light kind of blue tone baby pink shade and there is a swatch of it on my hand right there. Now I do have this on the lips today and then I put something over the top of it. I put the Maybelline Color Whisper in Petal Rebel over the top. So let me put a swatch next to this. Now the Color Whisper, it's a little bit more warm tone, but I think the two together kind of balance it out a little bit. So there is a swatch of Petal Rebel on my hand. It's definitely more sheer. It really just provides a little bit more of a glossy or maybe a satin texture to the lip liner because this lip liner on its own is really matte. Um, it's a really fun combination. And then if I wanted to, I have this lip gloss here. This is the Essence Triple XL Shine Gloss in Nude Kiss. Here's a little swatch of the gloss at the bottom. And there it is in the container, so you can kind of see. It does have little micro shimmers, but they don't really translate onto the lips. But I think um, I could totally put this gloss over the top of this lip combo, and it would kind of warm it up just a little bit more. And then I also have my lipstick that's in my project pan. This is the L'Oreal Ferris Nude Lipstick. It's a really, it's kind of a little bit of a darker nude for me. So there is... Ferris Nude. It's definitely a little bit, um, a little bit warmer, but I can also wear 
this gloss over the top of it as well. So I'm getting use out of all of my Project Pan items. Layering lip products is key when you have more than one in a project pan, so I really feel like I could put the gloss over anything that I have on my hand there. And then finally I have two perfumes because I like to keep a smaller one in my purse at all times. So this week that one is going to be the flower, you know, the flower cosmetics that Drew Barrymore has at Walmart. She came out with some perfumes around Christmas and this is the one in Cherish and obviously I had to get this one because my name is Cherish so Cherished the perfume is kind of cute so um, it's definitely it's kind of like a warmer spicy scent I think this would be really nice in the fall but it's sweet enough that I can you know I feel like it's spring appropriate too the perfume that I'll be wearing more frequently throughout the week while I'm at the house and everything this is the Ed Hardy Hearts and Daggers perfume. I really like this one. It's more of, um, you know, the generic sweet scent, kind of fruity sweet, but it's a really nice perfume. So anyway, that is it. Those are all of my items for this week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.